are celebrating our friend and colleague Bill Hudson at his 31 years as a journalist here at Channel 4. Bill's retiring. Today is his last day on air with us, and we're so glad that uh, Bill uh, shares uh, some of his thoughts and spent a little time with us here on Mid Morning today. How you doing, Bill? Last day. <laughs> well, I, I had to pull out the uh, the Kleenex on, on that story. I mean, yeah. talk about emotional. Ooh. It's very emotional. Yeah, and Bill also <laughs> it was uh, written by John Lorton, obviously, but edited by one wow. of your very Joe best Berg friends. Love. Did John and Joe not uh, knock it out of the park on that? Right. I mean, where did they find all of those clips and <laughs> old photographs? And uh, man, I have no words. Just is, is that the hardest thing to walk away from, Bill? I think one of the parts of this job that yeah. maybe uh, the general public doesn't realize is kind of the partnerships that we have with uh, especially photographers. You spend so much time with these men and women. Yeah, that's right, Jason. You know, the word family gets so thrown around, but truly we are family here. I mean, uh, you can't spend all the time that we spend in the car going back and forth to stories, sometimes hour long drives, multiple hours, and and you get to know the other person. You, you, under, you talk about their children and their wives and their families and they're concerned, so yeah, you get that bond, that close bond that uh, that we develop with the photographers and editors and producers here. That uh, you can't uh, underestimate that. You no, know, I loved what Dave Cheney said too. It's it's a partnership. It sure is, um, and it's especially interesting over this time during COVID. And I, you know, I it's a little bittersweet, Bill, because we can't all give you a big hug <laughs> and we can't all have a big party and yep, celebrate yep. everything that you've been doing but you uh, you and I were chatting yesterday you said you you know this this is the right time it is the right time and uh, you know as, as as far as parties go that's okay we'll we'll do something next mm -hmm. summer but I I think about all the people who can't be with their loved ones in hospitals or nursing homes or care centers you know because of COVID and uh, and, and my little going away is nothing compared to that that's who I have you know empathy for but yeah, you do develop those close relationships because for the last six months, we've been paired up with just one other photographer so that we you know, limit our, our contact with other people, keep our bubble tight. So uh, Dave and I have, uh, yeah, we've spent a lot of time <laughs> lately in the last uh, six months. Do you have a most memorable uh, person that you've talked with over the years? Well, I've got a couple of them. First of all, uh, John picked up on it in that, in that piece, uh, Dale Panchot Sr. Uh, I'll never forget the just the graciousness and the warmth that he exhibited to us after losing a son in, in, in Iraq and we knocked on his door. So I, I'll never forget that interview. That uh, stands with me to this day and always will. The other was, I think, uh, former President Jimmy Carter uh, interviewing him because after he left the presidency, which is debatable about how successful he was, obviously. Uh, but the, um, the, the chance to have uh, a time with him to talk about his uh, uh, Habitat for Humanity, they're out on a building site uh, hammering nails. And it was really, really an enjoyable interview with him, just so down to earth. And Bill, this is a tough one. Uh, I know it's tough for me when I get it. Mm -hmm. is a favorite story because oh. I mean there's just wow. so many right yeah I, I did the math the other day something like 8,000 wow. stories in my career but the one that stands out most recently was uh, just a few years ago uh, in the closing days of World War II a pilot from Minnesota was shot down uh, 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 Lieutenant Lauren Hins and he was never located because uh, the rush to get out of Italy uh, we spoke with his daughter, who was just nine months old at the time, never knew her dad. Here's a photograph of him in his P-47 uh, airplane, shot down over Italy in the closing days of the war. They never found him, but his grandson was so inspired by his grandfather's story, he went back to Italy just uh, you know, in the last uh, few years mm -hmm. and actually located him thanks to a 12-year-old boy at the time, who's now in his 90s, that remembered where the crash site was. Incredible story, I'll never forget that. Mm -hmm. When you started here, you were in your low 30s, mm -hmm. and you were surrounded by really some of the journalists that I think have become legendary here at WCCO and throughout the country. Are there people who inspired you as a journalist? Absolutely. You uh, this is the station I grew up with as a kid. Um, so I remember the, the Susan Spencers and Barry Petersons and Bob McNamara's and and uh, God rest his soul, uh, Bill Stewart. Mm. You know, those, th no station in the country has turned out more network correspondents than WCCO. And that's what inspired me to get into the business. That and the fact that I uh, grew up in a newspaper family. Both my dad and my 
grandfather were printers at the local newspaper, and I think that had something to do with it. Why it turned out uh, electronic journalism, not print journalism, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Bill, uh, over the past week, we've seen two newspaper stories, so many wonderful Facebook comments. It's nice to see some wonderful Facebook comments. <laughs> wow. None of us, Jason and I, are not surprised at the kind, kind words that viewers are giving to you. But are you a little surprised at, at the reaction, especially in, the, in this sort of time of divisiveness? Where... I am. I am. I'm humbled and surprised. And just this morning, I got a phone call from a, a, a young farmer that I had done stories with over the years. And you just don't expect people to take the time to say, you know, it's been fun working with you and best of luck in your retirement. I mean, I've got, you know, hundreds of, of emails and messages on Facebook and Twitter. I'm trying to reply to them, but you can't possibly keep up. But it, it, it you know, it just is uh, absolutely humbling to hear from so many people. And, you know, if we have a, uh, just a brief amount of time, I want to say thank you to uh, everybody who has been watching over the years, to uh, the faithful viewers who gave us stories, uh, because without those story ideas, you know, we, we have nothing to report. So I want to thank those viewers, and I want to thank a lot of the uh, old timers here, too, who set the bar, the standard high, uh, to uh, keep the legacy of this station alive, because Really, that's all I wanted to do, was just make them proud because we have such a fine tradition here at WCCO for turning out great journalists and doing great journalism. So to the Dave Moores and the Don Shelbys and the Al Austins and, and Bob McNamara's, I tip my hat and say thank you for giving me this chance to uh, practice my craft here at WCCO. It has been an incredible ride, and I'll never forget it. Thank you. Well, Bill, your name joins that list for yeah. sure. Uh, we appreciate you. you. You know how Heather and I feel about you. And it's been uh, really gratifying to see that the viewers uh, appreciate you just as much as everybody here in the building does. Well, I can't say enough about the two of you and everyone here at CCO. And uh, hey, let's go have lunch. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you go get to being a good grandpa, taking care yeah, of those little ones. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking so looking forward to that. You're a terrific family as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks Bill. a lot. Thanks, Thank Bill. you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations.